happening in my previous video you have seen what is the automata what are the various uh, minimum terminologies you should note in the automata construction and all so we'll start with the deterministic automata and or dfa so a dfa is a finite automata which consists of five parameters and it, the machine m is given by q sigma delta q0 f where q is a finite set of states and this has to be a non empty set of state sigma is a finite set of input symbols we call it as a alphabet then q0 is one of the state belongs to q is a designated as a start state and f is a set of accepting states means f is a subset of q which is called as a final states or accepting state and delta is a transition function which is a mapping between q cross sigma to q so what is this mapping function or a transition function here is it, it takes a state and then alphabet so on, for every state on every input alphabet you have a single next state which is defined on a dfa so you have an ordered pair q a so delta of q comma a should be equal to some other state that means from the state after reading some input alphabet the machine changes its state so what does a dfa do on reading the input string so the input is a word w in sigma star we have seen what is sigma star and the question is is w acceptable by the dfa so the steps what we have to follow to verify this is you start at the start state suppose q0 is the start state you start from q0 then for every input symbol in the sequence w do the compute the next state from the current state given the current input symbol in w and the transition function so for every next uh, symbol on the input to identify what is the next state after all the symbols in w are consumed if the current state is one of the accepting states or final state then the string w will be accepted otherwise the string w will be rejected this is how the machine will process the string and checks whether the string belongs to the language or does not belongs to the language and uh, coming to regular languages let l of a be the language recognized by dfa a then l of a is called as a regular language so the language accepted by dfa is a regular language this is the innermost language this outer language is a context free language which is constant which is recognized by push down automata or pda and outer this we have context sensitive language which is recognized by linear bounded automata outer that you have recursively enumerable language which are recognized by the turing machine this is a hierarchy of classes of formal languages and uh, inside is the dfa pda lba and tm from innermost to the outermost then coming to the types of dfa design problems so first kind is a pattern recognition problem second is the divisible by k problems and third is a string length modulo k problems so each of these kind we are going to see first one pattern recognition problem so build a dfa for the following language let l equals to w such that w is a binary string which contains 0 1 as a substring so what are the steps to be followed for pattern recognition problem here is here the sigma is a binary string so sigma equals to 0 1 and decide on the states that is q and designate the start state and the final state and delta is a deciding on the transition and f is a final state or set of accepting states so other states will remain as non accepting states so these are the minimal steps to be followed in the construction of pattern recognition problem so for the strings containing 0 1 so you start with the start state q0 then 
on 0, you go to the next state, Q1. Then on 1, go to the next state. So now the minimum string 0, 1 has been satisfied. So make Q2 as the accepting state or final state. So this is the minimum, uh, uh, the DFA for, uh, automata for the minimum string. Now here, if the string starts with 1, then you be in the same state until you encounter the first 0. So that's why on Q0 on 1, you be remaining in the same state. And once the 0, 1 substring is found, you are in the state Q2. After that, you can have any number of zeros and 1s. So there is a self loop for Q2 on 0, 1. Next remaining is if on Q2, if you are not encountering 1. So if you are encountering 0, you be remain in the same state. Because you are still having the previous uh, uh, symbol is 0. So you remain in the same state. So for Q0, I have transition on 0 and 1. For Q1, I have transition on 0, 1. For Q2, I have transition on 0, 1. So this is the construction for the given problem. And this I can write it. I have to write concluding the all five parameters. Q, Q is equal to Q0, Q1, Q2. Sigma is the alphabet which is 0, 1 here. And the start state is Q0 and final state is Q2. And this transition table also it is better to write. So how do we write this transition table is? So delta is a transition function. So rows will represent the state and the columns will represent the symbols. So delta of Q0 on 0, you can observe it is Q1. So this is Q1. Q0 on 1 is Q0. Q1 on 0 is Q1. Q1 on 1 is Q2. Q2 on both 0 and 1, it is Q2. And the start state is represented by writing an inward arrow to the state Q0. And final state are represented here with a star. So your transition table gives all five parameters of the DFA. This is how we can construct the problems on pattern recognition problem. So what this makes, what makes this DFA deterministic? So here for every state, on every input symbol, you have a single next state. That's why we call it as a deterministic. What if the language allows empty string? If the language allows empty string, then the start state itself will become the final state. Next problem, build a DFA for the following language. So L is equal to W where the left symbol differs from the right symbol and the inputs alphabets are A comma B. So now what we can do here is we can start constructing. So before that we will write the strings which belongs to the language. So the question says that the left symbol and right symbol must be different. So if we start with A, it should end with B. That is a minimum string AB or it could be BA. So I start the machine. I start constructing the machine from Q0. On A, I go to Q1. On B, I go to state Q2. Now, if the string is AB, it has to accept. So, I have a final state Q3, which accepts the minimum string. A, B. And here, if it starts with B and next symbol is A, this is also belongs to the language. So, I will go to the Q4, which is a final state. So, you can observe here, I have more than one final state. Now, for Q0, I have completed transition on A and B. For Q1, on B, I have, on A, I have to do it. If it is A again, 
after reading A, then I remain in the same state because it is not being recognized. It should not. A, 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 A should not be recognized. So, it doesn't go to final state. Q1 is the non-final state. So, for Q1 on A, B, I have finished. Then similarly for Q2. So, I have started with B. If it is again B, I remain in the same state until I get a A. So, for Q2, I have transition on A and B. Next, for Q3, so if the string is AB, it is accepted. If it is ABB, then also it should accept. AB, any number of additional Bs, it should accept. So, it is done. Similarly, here, BA, again A, if it is, it is still starting with B and ending with A. Now, for Q3, if it is A, where it should go? So, if it is A, go back to state Q1 and come to Q3 only if it is B. So, for Q3 on A, go back to Q1 and only if it is B, you go to the Q3 which is a final state. So, likewise for Q4 on B, go back to Q2. Only on A, you come back to Q4, which is a final state. So, which are the next minimum strings? A, B, B. Or A, B, A, A. Or sigma raised to 2. Deliver sigma raised to 3. So, likewise, sigma raised to 4, sigma raised to 5, sigma raised to n. These are the strings which belongs to the language. Finally, you write what is a Q, what is sigma, what is delta as in the transition diagram, and uh, F is Q3, Q4. So, you have to conclude by writing the machine parameters. Thank you.